Hey guys. Um well well, I guess there's only one thing to say at this point, and that is welcome to another Pop Tropica video. Um I'm I'm actually compiling them all in the same day, so I don't know what you guys are saying. I don't know what your comments are. Um I just know I am bored. And so I throw videos for you guys together, at least when I have school, because I'm bored and I have extra time in the wee hours of the night. Um, it's like next to midnight right now. So, um, what we're going to do is, I think we're going to do Shark Tooth. Shark Tooth? Or, I think we should start one of the longer islands, like Nabuti. Or, might as well get a start into something like Astronites or Counterfeit or Skullduggery. Skullduggery is something that we can get a start in and get pretty good at because um, I'm explaining the basics as we go. Skullduggery um, starting off is pretty fuzzy for me, but continuing, I remember there's like this circular pattern, and I'll explain all that when I get there. It's hard for me to explain it. And so for a while, um, we won't come back to this island much, if at all. No, I don't think we'll come back at all. Huh. There's a common room back there. What's going on here? Let's just kind of get a background um, for you guys. Uh, this used to be a proud place, but it was sacked by Captain Crawfish. That's all I really care about telling you guys for now. So we're kind of going to go hunting for stuff um, in the sense that we are literally trying to just collect whatever we can in the early days. Uh, sorry, microphones moving. Hello, come on, person. Get my person moving. Um, sorry that you, I actually, no, I'm not sorry because you generally do get to see it all. Um, but sorry you have to see that blue at the bottom, or whatever you see at the bottom here, um, when I'm transitioning. Hmm. I might have to do some research. I do know that there's... A little bit of stuff around that I'm supposed to grab together. But do I know what stuff? Of course not. Oh, it's a doubloon. It's a doubloon. That is magical. We have a doubloon, people. Um, one minute. I'm actually going to move my keyboard to the side to make space for Mike. But it will move. Okay, there we go. Now, we have a doubloon. Which is essentially the pirate currency. Um, how else can I explain it? I don't think I can explain it any other way, literally. Um, if I could, I would. Okay. So, I know there are several places I gotta go. First thing, however, I gotta do, uh, no, is I gotta go and I gotta figure out, well, what I gotta do is I gotta figure out how to get the mirror and I gotta figure out how to get the blue candle. Um, the blue candle I get from helping the guy and I don't remember where I get the mirror. And, I, and this will all make sense. Sorry about it being a little bit slow. In the background, I have some things saving, so um, just 
so that you guys can have the first video. I think you want that. So having a balloon in general is very precious. I'm s I'm sure someone's looking for one. Um, that's kind of why I went into the store is to get rid of it. What have you got then? Oh, okay. So what we want to do is we want to like use the balloon. I'd like to buy the feed, please. Now we have a bag of feed. Nice doing business with you. So we gave her our coin. She gave us her feed. It, it it's fair trade. I think it's fair trade. I don't know about you. Um. All the islands have some sort of special reward. This one is one where the reward is part of the plot. And in at least in my opinion. Um so you're gonna have to bear with me as I go along. Cause once you get uh midway into the plot, you gotta kinda forget about a few things that you learn. Um, also forgetting to use the arrow keys and such for movement um, or at least just not doing it for a bit is hard so I have it's a little bit it's been a long while since I've done Pop Tropica um, I think we'll be able to get started to the point where we get some of the way in Yeah, maybe a bag of feed will be useful. There's got to be someone who needs a bag of feed. Come on, that why else would I be able to buy it? I remember it being part of the gold, too. Um, so I'll, I guess we'll figure it out, right? We're figuring this whole thing out together. Use your coin to help the village? I think I can do that. I think with one doubloon, I can help the village. With one doubloon, people. One. Um, I used to spend literally days playing this game at a time. Um, so I'm not by any means a master because I've been so far out of date. What do you need, sir? What do you need? Sir! Where's that falling stuff? Then we still had a treasure, then we had a, a treasure map, then we had a hope. Treasure map, huh? Treasure map. Okay, sir. Uh, well, if if what if I gave you chicken feed, would you give me a chicken, sir? Here, take this to feed your chickens. I am helping the village by feeding the chickens. I have nothing to give you in return but this chicken. That's okay, sir. I can figure something out to do with the chicken. I'm sure. Wait, weren't there, weren't there pests jumping on the crops? That's right. Why did the chicken cross the road? Ha ha ha. I guess this is how I get the blue candle. Blue candle is very important in plot. 
in the plot at all. Blue candles by and by of course. Blue candle is one of those things that gets it all started. Um, it's one of the two things, the blue candle and the mirror. And then, from there, uh, the player continues the adventure. And I so hate this ad. In the future, I'll probably, um, be sipping something as I go. Have a water bottle or something. Because my voice is scratchy. Woo there. Woo. That's that's exactly how I I would react to. Chicken be free. Freedom for the chicken. How can I repay you? Please take the special candle. It's not much, but perhaps it can help you. I remember back when like the big book of Pop Tropica was was in date and now they're like remaking every island as its own book and I'm like and I should have I was so lucky but then the big book of Pop Tropica lost so many islands and lost a lot of details and what I might have to do is get membership later because um, I mean, if this series is really popular, I'll get membership. If not, I don't think I will. And you are probably wondering, how did you know this? I've been warehouses up here. Well, derp, I've played the maps that I have play. I play each map before I let you guys in on it. And so I've played this map before. I have an idea. Let's try looking at the parchment under this blue light. Let me try it. Amazing, the hidden ink is visible under the blue light. Oh no. Okay. Pirates, pirates, I knew this day was come. Captain Crawfish would, might plunder our port and steal our goods, but he will never take our town's treasure. Only I know the treasure's whereabouts, and it is my duty to keep it safe. And so, on the fifth day of October, I have drawn up a map and divided it into five parts. I have sent the pieces into the neighboring islands, and have asked the trusted friend and have asked trusted friends to keep them safe. Only when Captain Crawfish has vanquished our water, has vanquished our waters and cleared, and our waters are cleared of his fellow pirates, should the pieces of the map be brought back together. And the treasure be returned to our humble island. I am growing old and my days on this earth are numbered. I can only hope that the person who finds this document is good and true. And will do what's best for the people of my beloved island. General Ridley. You may find pieces of the map, but with Captain Crawfish trolling the sea, he's a, it's not safe to find the treasure. Find the map and chase Crawfish from our waters. Then I'll give you the final key to uncover the treasure. Make haste to find the map, then return to then return to then return to the governor. But we need sirs, we need a mirror. We just gotta figure out the mirror on our own, huh? No help with the mirror. So the mirror is the one thing that we need um, in this island to actually get it started uh, properly. So I need to find where the mirror is. Is the mirror this way? Miss. Oh, that's where you came from. I'm just finding out little pieces, bits and pieces about the plot now.
jump from on top of this rock. Top of this rock. Oh, dang. Yeah, I'm a good pop drop can parkourer. Again, I am by no means the best. You want to survive in Papa Tropica? Become very good at parkour. It's sad. Um, it's all that happens in Papa Tropica. Do you have a mirror? Have you a mirror? No, though, how can you have a mirror? I need to find where the mirror is. I have no idea where the mirror is. Um, I wish I had a second screen now. Hate you, Kalbator. Kalbator, or whatever you are. Hate it. I remember when there were like two ads on Pop Tropica and all the islands. Like, there were two possible ads, and now there's. One possible ad, but it's rotating. And last, before there were like two possible ads. Literally, you would either get the blue ad or the red ad. And if you got the blue ad, you were lucky. If you got the red ad, you were not lucky. You were not. I figure I might as well jump around. I remember some guy being in the air anyway. Um, maybe the mirror is up here. Uh, I can't seem to remember anything. Anyone a mirror? Huh. So I don't want to go in the common room. Just the information girl. Have I looked all around the store? Maybe there's the mirror. Maybe the mirror's in the store. I think that's where it is. I think the broken mirror in the store. There it is. I was being a derp. The mirror's broken, so I guess you can have it. Okay, guys, um, I'm feeling quite satisfied. So, um, you know what? I will see you guys in the next part.